Hi everyone, today I'm going to show how, how I created this Big Daddy Hydrangea. I have created three versions of it. One is on the paw, another is this pink one, and other one is the dark blue one. So now I'm going to show how I created this one on the pot. Let's start from the beginning. So first of all, I have taken the mesh, which on uh, this pot mesh. Click this plus minus button, select the mesh, and you get this one and orient to Y arm. And this one I have created in Maya here, and I just export it and texture in Substance Painter. So now click the material, click this plus minus button and select the pot material. So that pot material will be here, pot base color. And now uh, go to cutout mesh and from here select the pot. So that material already assigned to the pot mesh here. Now select the tree, add geometry from photo geometry at the mesh. Select the mesh and go to material, add the pot material which we have created. Uh, it can be huge. Now go to mesh from a scale. You can scale it down okay. I'll keep a little bit big after that I'll reduce the size uh, there is a reason to do that I'll explain it now select the tree go to add geometry add it front view go to spine tab Click uh, 1.8 feet. Okay. Go to skin tab. Reduce the radius. I think I should keep it uh, from a spine tab. I'll keep it 2 feet. <coughs> Select this one. And from material, I have already assigned the material, imported the material of the stamp add that material here and now uh, first of all what you need to do is you have to take the uh, flower mesh so click this mesh button add this plus minus button take the flower and flower will be here here is the flower which I have created you have to position Y up go to material I have taken that imported the flower material this one and select the material go to pot and select the pot oh, sorry not pot um, go to flower okay now uh, select the trunk to you add the leaf Change the position to up and go to material and add the flower material here. So you can see the flower has come here. And now go to orientation tab, change the right amount, and from a skin tab, you just reduce the size for the moment. Now select the trunk tube only or else you can just select all of them duplicate this one and add to the same trunk tube so here what you need to do is go from generation tab you have to change the position a little bit R, and now go to spine tab start angle 
and now um, reduce the length because I want to keep middle one little bit higher than others so we'll keep like this a little bit down okay that would be fine so select that trunk to you the second one this one is main this one is the uh, child one this one is the parent one select the child trunk to you go to generation tab and increase the number i'll increase up to four Now select the trunk to you and these leaves, hide them for the moment, select them and press H a little hide because I want to add the leaf first here. So select this trunk to you and add a leaf, go to generation, again change the position, go to orientation and then add right amount, again go to generation and change the um mode to absolute to interval and now you can see here is three but we need two okay and first of all we need to assign the material leaf material select the uh, leaf go to material import the material i have imported already that is leaf so here is the leaf material so all the I've imported all the material here so I'll show one by one select this one and go to edit so I have added those <laughs> polygon by selecting this put high okay. select the leaf go to position change the position little bit down go to orientation tab fold this one and curl from a skin tab reduce the size And keep little bit down this one okay let's keep one here okay we'll keep like this you can select the leaf or else you just can take a new leaf as you want and go to orientation tab at the right value from generation change the position and change to interval so we just can duplicate the leaf too and change the position okay and add the same material so all the uh, information about previous leaves mesh it will assign to this leaf so here you can see already assigned all the edited so now again go to fold and curl it and from a skin tab reduce the size and add the out amount So here when you select this one go to material when you attend the closeness and speckle So now uh, go to orientation again. I need to curl. Okay. Again, duplicate this one. 
because this kind of small detail i would like to just um work with individual leaves not just generating from one node i prefer this method and down and again size it <coughs> So that's how we just can duplicate or add frequency. I'm quickly just doing that. Okay, okay, for the moment we'll keep like this. Now, what others of branches and flower we have hidden here? So we have to unhide, select them, and page A again. We have unhide it. Now, select this leaf duplicate and add to other brand, other stamp here it came here okay, it came to the position and here you can see it's uh, overlapping press tab select this leaf and you can keep it down or else you can keep it up and give some position where it's not touching with others this and uh, select this one again duplicate this and add to the same trunk here now we need to just rotate this one and change the position a little bit up <coughs> go to orientation and add some curl amount then it will not gonna touch with each other so now another thing I need to do is I'll select the trunk only and in this uh, child trunk and duplicate only the trunk here and add to the main trunk here. Here is our main parent, parent trunk and now select that go to generation go to rotation rotate it so you can see another trunk set is here so this one i kept to uh, give some of uh, and some leaves so this one i need to just in increase the length little bit i'll cap to that much would be fine go to generation rotate a little bit more select this one go to spine tab and reduce the radius from top okay that's fine now select this leaf duplicate and add to this trunk tube so now you can see all came here go to generation and rotate from a skin tab we need to reduce the size and again from uh, generation we need to change the position and increase the size a little bit more and now you can select the tab button and you can just skip here now you can increase a little bit and give some like randomness on the full thing like from here okay So select this one again and duplicate this add to the same trunk. Okay, it came here and reduce the size. And add some twist amount. From here also we can individually add some twist amount and random value <coughs> and sometimes we can increase the size if you want 
okay so now we can add two, uh, two more leaves here uh, duplicate this oh sorry duplicate this one again add to this go to position keep them up rotate little bit and reduce the size leaf size and rotate again and duplicate again add to the same trunk now keep this one up keep the position up rotate go to orientation tab give some different value on that fold and uh, out amount and reduce the curl amount curl okay and go to generation sync it and this one keep up or you can add one more leaves i think we can add one more duplicate and add here and change put it down So here we need some more from generation. I'll add three, four. Keep the position down, or else from generation orientation tab, at the curl amount. So that's how I created this one and. I did that, this. So you can see I have given some different, different uh, twist amount and give some different shape. Thanks for watching.